Welcome to the Power of Purity podcast, the show that empowers men to experience their sexual gift in a healthier way. Now here's your host, Tony Ingrassia. Hey guys, welcome back to the Power of Purity podcast. I'm glad you could join us today. Thanks for being here. And I thought what I'd do today is I wanted to share with you guys just a little bit about the Power of Purity conference, which I think is a uh, resource that can be helpful to a lot of guys, and I pray to God that it will be. And as you guys know, the issue of sex has represented what I like to call both sides of the coin in my life. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, meaning that it represents the deepest brokenness and hurt and pain and shame and sin of my life, but also the greatest expression of God's power and God's grace and God's healing and God's redemptive ability in the human heart and the human life. So God has really done a miracle for me the way he's worked in my heart, my life, and even in my sexual self. And as I was going through this process that, that you know something of if you've listened to my story, at some particular point, I began to sense, and Sherry and I began to sense together, that we believed that God was actually calling us or inviting us to begin to share the story of what God had been doing in our lives with other people. And so I began to share this story with other men whenever God would uh, give me opportunities, mostly one-on-one at first, just talking to other brothers. And then uh, as things progressed, I had the opportunity to share at some men's uh, prayer groups and men's Bible studies and gatherings and things like that. And God began to uh, give me more and more opportunity, and it seemed like the Lord was really opening doors for me to share my story. And what was really interesting as I shared my story with other men is that uh, it was just interesting to see how hungry men were for what I was sharing with them, just kind of honestly and openly and vulnerably and transparently the story of what was going on in my life in the area of sex and kind of the journey of my sexual healing from sexual bondage and addiction to sexual freedom and healing. And as I talked to men, almost invariably, I I found that men were very intrigued, men were very interested, and they wanted to hear more. And I'm not sure, but I think a big reason for that is because it's a topic that's a little bit taboo, especially in the in and around the church, the Christian circle. As we know, this is something that so many guys struggle with in their life, and uh, we know that this sex stuff tends to be kind of shame-based, so most men kind of hide the issue if they're struggling. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know where to go to get, get help or answers or direction. And so they kind of keep it to themselves, and they struggle alone. And I think that to hear somebody kind of talking out loud about this and probably beginning to name many of the issues that that a lot of men struggle with, no doubt a lot of the men I was talking to, and so they were intrigued and they wanted to hear more and they were interested. So one thing led to the other, and uh, over time I, I wrote my first book, which is called Stories. Uh, The subtitle is The Redemption of One Man's Wounded Sexuality, and it's just kind of the story of my testimony and what God has done in my heart and life. And then I wrote two other books, The Power of Purity, which is a book where I identify uh, six of the major roots of what I call sexual sin. You know, the, the idea is that fruit comes from roots, an apple tree makes apples, an orange tree makes oranges, but ultimately the fruit that comes out on a tree is the direct result of the roots. And in my own healing journey through my counseling process, I had kind of identified six key areas or what I might call six key roots that had been embedded in my life, and these roots grew and took root, and uh, roots produce fruit. And these were roots of sexual sin, six root issues that are common to many men that produce the fruit of sexual sin. 
And so in that book, I kind of share about these six roots and how to deal with these roots and how to kill these roots and renounce these roots through the power of Christ, the light of Christ, the truth of Christ, the redemption of Christ. And what's totally awesome is when you kill the unholy roots, guess what happens to the unholy fruit? It goes away because if there's no roots, then they can't keep producing the fruit. And then a corresponding uh, book, my third book that goes along with The Power of Purity, is called The Power of Purity Workbook. And it was a workbook that I designed kind of in the early days uh, for a man to go through uh, as a workbook, where he looks up the scriptures, he fills in the blanks, he answers the questions, as he kind of applies these principles of purity to his own life, his own story, his own journey, his own situation. And that's designed for a man to go through uh, to facilitate a kind of a healing process, or preferably a small group of men to go through together. And then as uh, God was giving me opportunities to share more and more with men in different groups, I slowly began to develop what I came to call the Power of Purity Conference. And it was a series of sessions when I would go in to speak to men, and I would uh, share uh, these sessions with men to kind of try to convey to them what God was doing in my heart, my life, my situation, what I was learning about these different root issues that God was helping me to deal with and how I was being set free from my sexual addiction. And so over time, I I was developing this conference, the Power of Purity Conference, and as things unfolded over a a period of years, I was developing more and more sessions uh, related to this, and so the Power of Purity Conference was growing. Originally, it started out uh, with six sessions, then I added a seventh, then an eighth, and a ninth, and a tenth, and I kept going. And at this point today, there are actually 30 sessions in the Power of Purity Conference, which uh, provide a total of over 23 hours at this point of principles, insights, and truth that I believe can help men uh, change their heart and change their life and change the way they're managing their sexual gift and uh, help them hopefully to be healthier than they've ever been before. And by the way, I'll just mention that I'm not sure that the conference is finished because as God continues to teach me and as I continue to learn important insights and truths, I, uh, I'm i perpetually developing new conferences. You know, I participate in a Power of Purity men's group that meets uh, at my office every Thursday night. We have a group of brothers that meet. It's an awesome group. It's a very uh, powerful, honest, transparent group. It's mostly Christian guys, guys that love God. They want to honor God. They want to serve God. They want their lives to count for God and for his kingdom. But for whatever reasons, uh, like so many of us, these men are struggling with their sexual gift, Uh, struggling with uh, sex addiction, internet pornography. We've had many men who have acted out in adulterous affairs, men struggling with same-sex attraction, men struggling uh, with voyeurism, and the list goes on and on and on. So these guys get together and we talk, and uh, I try to lead this group, and different guys facilitate sometimes, and we're on this journey of purity together. And I think it's something that God intends for us to do in community with other brothers. It's just kind of the way the kingdom of God works. So maybe uh, in the future there's going to be even more than 30 sessions, but at this particular time that I'm recording this uh, podcast, there happens to be 30 sessions in the conference. And among many other benefits, I believe that if a man is willing to work his way through these 30 sessions, the Power Purity Conference, it's going to help a man understand himself better than he's ever understood himself before. It's going to help him understand why he's struggled so deeply with the issue of sex in his heart and his life. 
It's going to provide him with the understanding and the tools and the resources that are going to empower him to learn to control sex instead of being controlled by sex. It's going to help him bring his sexual gift under the authority of Christ. It's going to help him learn to honor God and to honor his wife if he's married with the expression of a sexual gift. And it's going to help him be healthier sexually than he's ever been before. And one of the uh, questions I'd like to speak to, uh, I've had more than one person ask me, man, that seems like a lot, Tony, 30 sessions, are you kidding me? Uh, One man actually told me, it's too much. The average guy doesn't want to listen to that much information. Can't you just uh, kind of put it, boil it all down into one session to to teach guys or share with guys? And I'm going to speak to that issue uh, here in just a little bit, why it, it just isn't practical. It's not possible to convey the information that needs to be conveyed in just one short session. And the reason for this is because the roots of human sexuality or uh, they're typically very complicated, profoundly complicated, intricate, and multifaceted. Or said another way, uh, they're, they're normally aren't necessarily easy, simple, or quick answers to the deep struggles and issues of the human heart and the human life. For example, imagine a Christian man who has a deep struggle with internet pornography. He knows that he shouldn't be looking at porn. Uh, When he does, he feels guilty afterwards and he feels shame. He knows that it's inconsistent with the faith that he professes. He knows that it's dishonoring and displeasing to God. It's something that God does not want him to be doing. He knows he'd be deeply embarrassed and ashamed if his friends uh, at church, for example, found out what he was doing. And he knows he'd be in big trouble, probably, if his wife found out what he's been doing, or the frequency at which he's been doing it. Yet despite all these reasons, and and probably many more, that inform him that he should not be looking at porn on the internet, on the internet, yet he's uh, powerless to resist the temptation, no matter how hard he tries. And he finds himself being tempted and drawn back over and over and over again, uh, to internet porn, and uh, sadly, what what happens to so many guys is they simply acquiesce. Eventually, they they don't even try to fight the battle anymore. It's as if they've almost given themselves over to this thing because it's so much a part of the landscape of their life, and they feel like they can't overcome it. So they kind of acquiesce. Uh, by the way, this is a, a new session that I'm I'm working on. And uh, probably something I'll try to share with you guys at some point here, uh, this concept of acquiescing and why we do it and why we need to fight against that. But anyway, uh, the point I'm making is that more often than not, there's these deep, abiding, complicated, often confusing, and uh, typically hidden issues, these root issues that are embedded in a man's heart and life that he's never processed, he's never understood, he's never dealt with them in a healthy way, and as a result, he remains enslaved to these invisible chains and these invisible forces that have have held him captive for so many years. And as a result, he struggles and struggles and struggles and struggles and struggles with this issue of sex in his life. Uh, I, I think of, in the moment, I think of the iceberg, uh, iceberg metaphor. You know, uh, they say that maybe 5% of an iceberg is visible above the surface of the water. Well, that means that 95% of this thing is submerged under the surface where you can't really see. It's this big, gigantic thing uh, that's lurking there, uh, and it's there, it's powerful, it's significant, and it supports the 5% that you can see, but, but, but you don't always see it or understand it because it's underneath the surface. So the part that men see is what's above the surface, the 5%. They say, 
gee, I have a problem with internet porn. I have an issue with sex in my life. I can't quit looking at porn. I know I shouldn't. I know God doesn't want me to. I know it's dishonoring to the Lord. I know my wife would be upset, but I simply can't do it. What's my problem? Why does sex hold so much power over me? Why is sex controlling me instead of me controlling sex? And so they see this problem kind of like the tip of the iceberg, this 5%, this thing in their life, this issue. But what they can't see are the issues and the roots and the dynamics and the influences and the powers that have become embedded in their heart and life, things they've probably never connected the dots on and that they don't uh, necessarily understand. And the point I'm making, you guys, is that that's the reason that there's 30 sessions in the Power of Purity Conference, because these various sessions are intended to help us expose and understand and then begin to deal with these various root issues in a more effective, thorough, and powerful way than we ever have before. Uh, by the way, I'll just throw in another metaphor for free. It's it's just occurring to me, and that is that of of a diamond. You know, a diamond is a beautiful stone, right? It's it's one stone, and yet it has many facets all around it. And so, if you were to work your way around the stone, like under a microscope, you can look at this facet, and then rotate it a little bit, and look at this facet, then that facet, this facet, that facet. And uh, there's all these different facets, and I think it's fair to say that that's what human sexuality is like. It's not a simple thing. There's like all these different facets and dynamics and issues and nuances to be considered. And that's what I'm trying to do in this Power of Purity conference is kind of look at, wow, look at this, you guys. What about this concept? Oh, but look at this facet over here and look at this. Or what about this? Did you ever think about this? Or what about this? And uh, I'm trying to examine all these different ideas and concepts of facets of the issue of sex in our hearts and lives so we can understand how sex has become so powerful and what it means uh, to become healthier sexually so that we can begin to manage sex so that sex is not managing us. But I want to share one other important point uh, before we leave this particular question. Why are there so many sessions? Why are there 30 sessions in the Power uh, of Purity Conference? And it's the concept of counseling. Uh, You know, uh, I am a professional counselor, and uh, I work with a lot of different people uh, in different situations in life, individuals. I do marriage counseling. And if I have any kind of a specialty, it's kind of a specialty in this area of sexuality, and I try to help men who are struggling with their sexual self in one way or the other. And the point I'm making is that when a man begins this therapeutic process, it's not uncommon for him typically to come to counseling for an extended period of time, maybe for a year or maybe even two years or three years as he's beginning this journey into the story of his life, into his own heart. He's turning to face and try to process and comprehend and understand his sexual self and why sex is this issue in his life, why he's been acting out, why he has this problem, how did he become the man that he became, why does sex hold so much power over him, what would it look like for him to begin to change and become a healthier man when it comes to the issue of sex. And by the way, uh, if you've heard my story, you know that I personally, when I started my own therapeutic uh, journey, I went to counseling for over six years on my healing journey. Uh, But the point I'm making, you guys, is that as a man begins to uh, enter into this process, looking at his heart, his life, his behavior, he's trying to understand who he is. He's trying to understand uh, why he does the things that he does, how he became the man that he became, and what it means for him to grow and change and become healthier, not only in his relationship with sex, but also in his relationship with himself, maybe his relationship with 
God and maybe his relationship with his wife if he's married. But the point is this, this process takes time, you see, a year, two years, three years. My process was over six years. It takes time. It's a process. It typically doesn't happen fast, and it doesn't happen overnight. And that's why it's not unusual for a person to be involved in a therapeutic process for an extended period of months or even years when he begins this journey. So the point I'm making, you guys, is this. It's not that big of a deal if you think about it this way and if you realize the Power of Purity Conference consists of 30 sessions, yes, because I might advocate that that's just about as many sessions as we're probably going to need to begin to really look at and begin to evaluate and understand and comprehend the 95% of this giant iceberg that's lurking underneath the surface of a man's heart and life. And uh, by the way, do you know what I wish? I wish that I was smart enough and wise enough that I could organize this perfect, amazing assemblage of words that would take about 30 minutes for a man to listen to And this 30 minutes would be so amazing that it would allow a man to understand and comprehend everything they would ever need to know about their life and about their story and their issues and their sexuality, and they could be healed, and they could be delivered and set free, and their life could be changed in 30 minutes, and all their problems and issues would be gone forever. But there's only one problem, you guys. I'm not that smart. I'm I'm simply not that smart. I don't know how to boil everything that God's been teaching me on this journey for about the past 20 years. I don't know how to boil it into a 30-minute presentation that would be all that a man needs to hear uh, in order to deal with his own heart and life. I wish I could, but I can't. But you know what I can do? I can share the information and the concepts and the principles and the strategies that God has been teaching me and hammering out in the an- on the anvil of my own heart and life through my own blood, sweat, and tears. And that's what I do. I, I share with guys what I'm learning. I'm sh- I share with you what-, what God has taught me on my healing journey. And at this point, I've got 30 sessions put together trying to to put all this into a package that I can convey that hopefully will be helpful to a man. And at this point, it's uh, it's basically, it's just over 23 hours long. The 30 sessions, in fact, are 23 hours and 10 minutes. And by the way, uh, reflecting on that counseling metaphor, um, you know, I said that when a man begins a therapeutic process, it's not unusual for him to go for a year or two years or three years. To go for 23 sessions would be a remarkably short process, I would advocate, for a guy to really genuinely deal with his heart, his life, his issues, his sexuality. Uh, The point being, a counseling session is typically um, one hour long. Right. So if a guy was willing to come to 23 sessions, 23 counseling sessions, he would have 23 hours invested in his healing journey, which, quite frankly, just isn't that much time. And so for a guy to go through the Power of Purity Conference for 23 hours really is not that uh, much of a time period for him to begin to understand and comprehend and begin to connect the dots and deal with some issues in his heart and life that will hopefully be helpful to him. I want to mention one other uh, benefit that I believe is a significant benefit of the format of the Power of Purity Conference, and that is the fact that the conference is online. A guy can go online. You can listen to the sessions one at a time. A guy can purchase the conference and download it and own it, and I'm going to have it available in the very near future. 
I'm going to get it put on a USB thumb drive so a guy can purchase the thumb drive and have the entire conference uh, literally in the palm of his hand so he can reference it whenever he wants. Um, the point I'm getting to is that the conference is available with complete anonymity and confidentiality. In other words, a person can discreetly access the Power of Purity Conference and absolutely nobody needs to know that they're doing so. And why is this important? Because as you probably already know, guys, sexual issues for most of us are deeply personal, rightfully so, and often shame-provoking. And when a person's struggling with sexual issues of any kind in their life or in any way, their natural tendency is to hide their struggle, right, to keep their secrets. And the last thing they want to do is disclose to anybody the truth about who they really are and what they're really struggling with in their life. And because of this, guys often struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle for years and years, and they have no idea what to do. Uh, they, they have no idea who to talk to. They have no idea where to go to get some help, to get some information or guidance or understanding or insight that might help them begin to deal with these issues and this struggle in their life that that they haven't known how to deal with, you see. And that's a huge benefit of the Power of Purity Conference because it allows a man to access this this incredibly significant information with complete anonymity and confidentiality, and absolutely nobody needs to know that he's checking this out. So I think it's just very significant that that a man is able to do this with complete privacy, and he can begin to maybe work on some issues and begin to deal with his heart and consider some things maybe that he's never thought of before or really looked at before. And uh, because of the sake of time, I'm not going to talk about in this particular uh, podcast the content of each of the 30 sessions. But what I am going to do is quickly uh, go through and just name the sessions. By the way, if you go to the website, uh, www.powerofpurity.org, and go to the conference link, go to the store, and there's uh, all 30 sessions are listed there, and each session has a little description, what's uh, the content of that session, what that session's about. And then there's a little one or two minute video clip, a sample from that particular session. So you can watch all 30 session uh, samples and get a kind of a good concept of the content of the material. And you can read the descriptions. But the 30 sessions are this. Number one is the introduction. And number two is Tony's story. And by the way, I offer Sessions 1 and Session 2 absolutely free on the website. So a guy can listen to Session 1, Session 2, get a good sense of who I am, kind of how I talk, what I'm talking about, and then kind of decide, hey, I, I kind of like this. I think maybe more, more of these sessions would be helpful to me. And then if so, Session 3 is Destroying the Six Roots of Sexual Sin. Session four is emotional equilibrium. Session five, into the light. Session six, the heart of the matter. Section, uh, session seven, the currencies of the kingdom. Session eight is understanding your story. Session nine, what is sexual addiction? Sexual, uh, session 10, love sex versus lust sex. Uh, that's a really important session. Session 11 uh, is called Wife Size Sex. That's another incredibly important session. Session 12, This is Unfair. Session 13, Relational Intercourse. Session 14, The Sexual Fast. Sexual 15, uh, se- Session 15, I'm sorry, The High Price of Infidelity. Session 16, Breaking the Power of Generational Sin. Session 17, Taming the Little Man. Session 18, The Holy Altar. Session 19, The Deception of Sexual Sin. Session 20 is The Moment of Truth. 
Session 21, Battle Plan. Session 22, Training in Godliness. Session 23, Renunciation of Our Fathers. Session 24, Homosexuality. Session 25, The Sexual Alliance. uh, Session 26, Why You've Struggled So Much with Sex. Session 27, 3D Sex. Session 28 is What About Masturbation? Session 29 is Sex Outside of Marriage. And Session 30 is You Can Conquer Your Body. Praise God. Uh, Those are the 30 sessions. And uh, you guys, this is just, uh, you know, I I, I try to say with humility, I I, I don't want to uh, exaggerate, uh, but I... This is stuff that that has just been hammered out in my own heart and life. It, it's all significant information that's been profoundly necessary and helpful in my own healing journey. And I'm just trying to share with you guys uh, what God's done in my heart, what God's done in my life, what God's been teaching me. And I pray to God that it can be uh, helpful to some other guys. And so if you think uh, some of these sessions might be helpful to you, you need to know that they're available. And uh, if you're brave enough or willing, or if you hear of another brother that's struggling, you might want to share with him that these sessions are available and pass uh, the word on. I want to uh, say just very quickly a brief word about the investment in the conference. Uh, I am a licensed professional counselor, and uh, my my regular fee is $85 per session for professional counseling. And so I figured it out up just for the fun of it. If, if a man was to come to me for counseling one-on-one, and if he came for 23 sessions so that uh, – we're doing this work together one-on-one, trying to help him understand his journey, uh, his story, help him journey a little bit into his story, help him understand how he became the man he became, why he has the struggle that he has in his heart and life, what it means for him to begin to change and be healthier. If he would work with me for 23 sessions, I don't have a calculator in front of me at the, the moment, but I figured up $85 times 23 sessions, that's 23 hours, would be right around $2,000 for that professional counseling. And what I want to say, you guys, I am not suggesting that the Power of Purity Conference is the equivalent of professional counseling. I don't think that the conference online is the equivalent of professional counseling, uh, probably for, for several important Reasons, But the point is, if I was to work with that man one-on-one, and many of the men that I work with, many of the topics and issues that we end up talking about are the very topics and issues that I address in the content of the Power of Purity Conference. And the, the point I'm making, you guys, is you just have to trust me on this. I trust if you've been listening to the podcast, you have a sense of who I am and where my heart is and what my motivations are. Believe me when I say I'm not doing this to profiteer. And that's why uh, we made the decision to try to put the conference within everybody's reach. I don't want finances to be a reason uh, to prevent anybody from accessing this information. So uh, there for a while, we we discussed actually charging $85 for, for the entire conference which, by the way, I sincerely believe would be an incredible uh, value, basically for the, for the price of one counseling session, $85, you would get all 30 sessions, 23 hours of this information that I believe can be heart-changing and life-changing, okay, for the price of one counseling session. I think that'd be an incredible value, but but we decided against that. And so what we've done at this time is we're offering the entire conference for $24.99. Uh, I trust and hope and pray that that puts it within everybody's reach. And if you're not even interested in investing in the entire conference and having all 30 sessions 
uh, at your disposal, you can go through the 30 sessions and pick and choose the ones that you think might apply most directly to your situation. And those sessions are available for $1.29 each. So for literally just a few dollars, uh, this information is available and uh, it'll be a blessing to help us move the ministry forward. And so I just wanted to uh, share with you my heart and my viewpoint on kind of how we have this arranged and why we're offering it the way we're offering it. And by the way, I'm not necessarily sure that we're going to be able to offer the conference like this forever, but at the time that I'm recording this podcast in April of 2016, we've decided to try to put the conference within everybody's reach as much as possible. So uh, we're offering it at this time, and uh, I pray that it's just a real blessing to those that want to take advantage of it. And since we're talking about money here, I'm going to go ahead and do something here that I have a little bit of an allergic reaction to, but I'm going to do it anyway because I, I know that I need to do it. You guys know that I'm a pastor. I I pastor this church in St. Charles, Missouri, the Outpost Church, and I'm very reluctant to ever teach on the topic of money or giving or tithing because of this uh, uh, prejudice in the culture that all those Christians, all those pastors, all they ever talk about is money. They want your money. And so I really... uh, error on the other side, and I almost never talk about money or tithing or giving, and uh, I know that it it is, in fact, my responsibility as the pastor to teach the entire counsel of God's Word. But the point I'm getting to, you guys, uh, that that I'm getting to is this. Uh, I need help to take this message of purity to the world. Uh, You guys know there's a gigantic need in this highly sexualized world in which we live. Uh, Statistically, over 50% of the men who will be in church this coming Sunday in America, doesn't matter which church, the Methodist Church, Pentecostal, Baptist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Catholic, non-denominational, over 50% of the men who will be in church will have looked at internet pornography within the past seven days. And I've come to believe as a pastor and a professional counselor that the deepest brokenness and pain and shame for many people, if not most people, revolves around their wounded and broken sexuality. And so the point I'm getting to you guys, I believe the world desperately needs to hear God's message of sexual purity. What does God have to say about sex? And the fact is, uh, this ministry at this point is a shoestring op- operation. We're, op- we're uh, operating um, on an incredibly small budget. The fact is, a couple recently uh, gave uh, the power of purity, a donation of two thousand dollars, and it was that two thousand dollars that that helped me to launch this very podcast. And even though the podcast is very young, I'm amazed and encouraged and excited to see how powerfully it's already impacting people. And I love the idea that this podcast literally is going around the world and people literally all around the country and all around the world, different countries, I'm amazed when I see the demographics where people are finding their way to the power of purity. And so the point is, I need help. I need financial help to do this, you guys. And so I'm asking you, will you prayerfully consider the possibility of supporting the power of purity and helping me take this message to the world. I believe this message will put us on the front lines of the of the greatest spiritual battle going on in the hearts and lives, in our culture, in, in people's hearts and lives. It, it's desperately needed. And by the way, the Power of Purity is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so all gifts and donations are completely uh, tax-deductible. You know, I was thinking, uh, 
you know, I'm just dreaming here, so excuse me, but if I had a million dollars, if somebody, if God would bless this ministry with a million dollar gift, do you know what we could do with that? Do you know how we could assault the gates of hell with a million dollars to to promote the power of purity ministry, the power of purity podcast, to make it more visible so that tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of people would be exposed to it and begin to go and consider God's message of sexual purity. I was thinking, for example, uh, I'm not even sure because I haven't looked into it in a long time, but if we bought a major billboard on the highway, for example, and I'm not even saying this would be the best way to, to advertise or to market, I'm not sure, but if 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 we could get a major billboard on a major highway in a major city the power of purity what does god say about sex or something like that and every day hundreds of thousands of cars are driving by that billboard but then what if we put one of those billboards in let's say the top 20 major cities in america billboards all around the country, ads in newspapers, you you begin to see where I'm going with this vision, you guys. What could we do with a million dollars to promote the message of purity and assault uh, the gates of hell? So enough said, you guys, no gift is too small. I deeply appreciate your help uh, your consideration of this ministry. I promise you it's needed. I promise you it's appreciated. And I promise you it's going to be used for the kingdom of God. Uh, if you're interested, uh, as I move toward the conclusion of this podcast, in getting more information about the Power of Purity Conference, go to the website, as I mentioned, www.powerofpurity.org. You'll find a description there of each of the 30 sessions. You'll find a short preview of each of the 30 sessions for you to view. You can listen to sessions one and two absolutely free and get a con- uh, an idea of the content uh, of the conference. Then you can decide if you think it's something that you might be interested in or if it's something that might be helpful to you as you continue on your personal journey towards sexual purity. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. God bless you, and I'll look forward to seeing you in our next podcast. Thanks for listening. Visit powerofpurity.org for more resources and information. And if this podcast has been helpful or encouraging, please invite a friend to listen. Until next time, remember, there's power in purity.